Hey guys, David Busher at Busher Racing. I've got Chris, better known as Bricks, 1G 6 bolt motor here that we did for him three years ago. He brought it in to have it freshened up. It's been through hell, which I'm going to go into in a few minutes. So, do another teardown video to show how well our engines hold up. And uh, as Jared shows you the motor, I'll start going through some of the stuff that he's told me this thing's been through. This thing's three years old. It's got about 10,000 hard miles on it. It's had everything from pump gas, Q16, E85 into it. It's run as lean as 14 to 1 under boost. And it's, it's come close to setting a couple of records. The best this car's run in a 2G chassis was a 1062 at 131 miles an hour. Um, the first year they had it, the car made 42 passes with tons of lean fire or lean misfires. Made 16 11 second passes and 19 mid high to 10 second passes. The car was on E85. Air fuels were kept 11.9 to 12.2. Then Chris ran into a lot of uh, fueling issues. It ended up blowing a freeze plug out of the cylinder head and the boost was off the end of the map sensor. He was using it was 38 pounds of boost on a three and a half bar map. Actually, that wouldn't be off of it, but it was close. The car got as lean as 16 to 1 on that pass. It still ran that 1062 at 131 that year. He then had an oil pump stub shaft that backed off, went into the oil pan, and it nicked up the rod bolts and put two holes in the pan. They put a fresh pan on it, refilled it with oil. The car ran perfect. He ran it for another two years. In 2011, this car made 415 horsepower, 406 foot-pounds of torque on E85 on the 16G. And it ran 1050s, 1070s all last year with a best mile an hour of 137 miles an hour. That's on a 16G turbo. In Chris's own words, he said, despite the many tuning lean issues, hard misfires, including two almost catastrophic incidences, the engine has been perfect and has propelled the car to Kurt Lake Brown mile per hour on that little 16G. I want to show you something else. You can see here where the stub shaft came apart and it put these dents in here. You can see down here on this rod, this rod bolt's damaged, this rod bolt's damaged, the cap is damaged. That's from where that stub shaft backed out, which would have lost all oil pressure and went through the motor. So no telling what we're going to get into, but I'm betting it's still good because the car ran perfect. He just wants to get fresh for this year. He's switching on automatic and hoping to set some records. So let's get the teardown. If I get the cable and plug it in and just do it from there. We had a little battery malfunction there in case that gets spliced in. Had to get a power cable for the camera. That's a Kigley uh, main girdle support on it. Kigley Racing, he makes them for the six bolts. Real good product, helps keep that crank in place. Gives the block some extra rigidity. The six bolt for you Evo guys has a three piece separate main cap instead of the big one piece girdle that they started using in 93 on the seven bolt. Look at that Shiat right there. Those are beautiful. Chris said he's run mostly Brad Penn in this, but according to his notes here, he's also run Rotella, Pennzoil Ultra, Amsoil Dominator, and he believes some Castrol Edge somewhere along the line. So this thing's had a variety of oil in it. Isn't Rotella tomato stuff? <laughs> I thought that was ragu. That's spaghetti sauce. Damn. I 
he get that center one out? Need a bigger hammer. Let me pop those rod caps off. real quick that's a stock Mitsubishi two liter crank in there and that crank was turned by us that's what I was just checking uh, it's a 1010 crank so as you can see if you turn a crank properly they do hold up Here we go, number four. No bearing, hold on. Number three. Something else that made some no notoriety a few years ago was our scuffing of the bearings. You can see that these are all scuffed like this old video we did. And you see how well they hold up. There's that another one. So the bearings in this motor, I mean, that's, that's flawless. We don't have an issue here anywhere. Can't ask for more than that. Let me get the bearings off there. Those are all freaking fantastic. I guess we should have just left this one in the car. So start with number one piston. <laughs> now this car had to obviously have some severe detonation at some point with the air fuel ratios being that lean. And this thing is just, that's fantastic. Something else I want to touch on. There's a motor on uh, Evo M right now that the tuner fucked up and it detonated. When it detonated, it took this portion of the piston right here off. Well, obviously that's thin and obviously it can build a hot spot. I commented in there that there's hundreds of these piston designs out there and no problem because someone else said that needed to be cut away. You heard from Chris's own paper that I was reading from over here how lean this got, how hard this thing's been run, 10,000 miles, blah, blah, blah. This is all intact because the car still had the knock control activated so that it could help. That other car simply destroyed from ignorance on the tuner's part. It's all, everything's in good shape. I mean, you, you can't ask for anything more on an engine that's been through this kind of abuse 
I mean, I, I'm reading from a paper over here. I didn't make this story up. Chris sent me an email, gave me the specs on the motor. These are manly rods. I mean, basically, <laughs> we're going to hot tank this. Check the line home, make sure everything's good. I can tell you right now everything in it's good. Hot tanked. We'll do a quick hone on it, put some fresh rings and bearings in it, which, hell, you could probably get by just reusing what's here. And uh, we'll send it back. So Chris should be up in a couple of days to pick it up. Uh, this is a non-turbo block. I like using these for the race motors. It has no oil jets in it. You can see normally they go here. So that's it. That's another Busher Racing motor that's just been through three years of abuse, 10,000 miles, lean misfires, lost an oil pump. The oil pump, you can see where it went through and beat the motor up. Look how good it is. From some of these guys that can't keep an engine in a car, I don't know what to tell them. They need a new tuner most of the time is a problem. Have a great day.